Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the glow plugs on a 6.2 liter diesel engine, Chevrolet. Now, I think it might actually be GM, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, so technically whatever it is, I want to show you, you're going to have a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench. The ratcheting part's very important if you want to save time. If you don't want to save time, don't get a ratcheting wrench, get a regular one. You can still do it. If you don't have a lot of money, you can still use a regular wrench. But I suggest a regular 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench and a stubby 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench. This is going to help you with the accessibility to the glow plugs. And the glow plugs look like this. See? They have a little thing here at the end. It's all black because it's bad. And then they have this part here where you clip on with the connector coming from the battery, of course. So. Let me get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove this thing here and the half-ass cup holder things. And then also this thing here that goes over the engine right there. And once you remove that, that'll give you access to the glow plugs. Now, it's very important to note that we're not gonna try and remove this glow plug on the driver's side um, from up here. I'm simply showing you the location so it's easy for you to see what the glow plug looks like. So looking here, you'll see there's a little plug thingy here, right? And I have my pick tool here on it. Now this simply has a little connector here and you basically grab the black part and you just pull it right off. It's not even held on with some kind of mechanism, which is great for you people who hate connectors. I know I hate them a lot. What you're gonna really wanna do uh, to change this out easily, you can access it from up here, but I highly suggest that you do the whole driver's side glow plugs from the bottom. <clears throat> so you'll have one here, and then all of these right here, they're all underneath this uh, the fuel thing here. So how you find them is you look at this thing here, and then it's right underneath them for each corresponding cylinder. So from from the bottom you'll be able to see uh, they're all red wires like this with a black thing a black connector and what you'll do is you'll just take this and then the other tool that you'll really want to have is the 10 millimeter socket with a quarter inch ratchet now i highly suggest that you wear clothes that you do not give a crap about maybe a nice suit now here you can see the, the first glow plug I was pointing at is up here. Let's see, right, oh man, I'm so sorry about the view. But let me just take this GoPro off and I can show you, as you look here, you could see from the bottom the, the glow plugs. Um, and I, I'm really sorry about the view here. I, I can't see and hold this at the same time, but I promise you it's easy. When you look up here, you'll see all four of them. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get these first three that are on the driver's side, that are closest to the driver. The first three are going to be, uh, you have one here and then you have one right there that's still plugged in and then you have another one over here and uh and then once you get those three with the 10 millimeter uh deep socket and a quarter inch ratcheting rent uh ratcheting uh sorry quarter inch ratchet then you'll come to the front Now you could see that this one is most easily accessed, the most forward one is most easily accessed from the front. So in other words, for the first three, you're gonna climb all the way towards the back underneath this thing. You're gonna go towards the back and do the three first, and then you're gonna come here. And I'm here in the front of the truck, see where the license plate is? And you could go right here and just use your 10 millimeter deep socket with a quarter inch ratchet get that one and then once you do those four on the driver's side you'll be delighted to know that you don't have to be on your back for these three here now what i suggest you do is have your 10 millimeter ratcheting wrenches and what you could do is just go here over the glow plug and just it 
you know it takes a long time these things are threaded so much you're gonna get very frustrated but just be super patient put on some Katy Perry or whatever the heck you listen to I don't know what you guys listen to nowadays anyway um <laughs> and you're just gonna go like this with your ratcheting wrench and just uh do do this and just keep going until it comes out and you might use a stubby or the long one depending on what's easier for you now once it comes out you can put the new one in and just start it by hand and then go at it again turn it over and just right now one two and three are very easy to get up here from the passenger from up here now for the last one you're gonna notice it's deep in there you don't want to get that front one from up here you want to go through the bottom now coming in from the front here we're gonna go under this thing's gonna be your your landmark here right this little part here and you're gonna look up here and you see the wrench where the little ratchet is up there right there the ratchet is well where that ratchet is that's where you're gonna put your 10 millimeter deep socket with your quarter inch ratchet and basically you're gonna go at it now my hand doesn't fit up there very well but i promise you it's real easy to get to the main challenging part with this one is the fact that it's hard to see a little bit but i promise you it's not that bad so once you remove that one and put in the new glow plug you've done all eight you'll be good to go now I'm going to show you a quick way that you can test the glow plugs to see if that's what's giving you trouble because mine the problem that I'm having is white smoke on startup and it doesn't want to start up very easily so up here at the top I have a a battery cable uh, I have a little alligator clip connected to this this one here this positive and then I have one connected to the negative over there now one thing that we can do is we can take the positive because that's where the power goes right right here and put the positive right here and then we'll put the negative right here on the the part that's connected to the engine anyway this is ground and that's how it makes a complete circuit it goes from the positive up through here and then through the plug, out of the plug through ground, and then back to the battery over there. And what you will test for is to see if this gets hot. Now, this thing should be getting hot, but it's not. And I'm thinking that's because this is bad and that's why I'm changing them. This is a super old truck. Um, but I don't know, that's just an idea on how you could test these if you have alligator clips. So. One thing to uh, keep in mind is uh, if they're really hard to get out, maybe you could use some penetrating oil uh, around here to get it through there. But if you like this video and it helped you out with your 6.2 liter diesel, comment, like, subscribe, and have a great day.